Hey, welcome to Lab Games. I'm Anthony. And I'm Francis. And today we're going to play Euphoria. Euphoria. Ignorance, Ignorance is, bliss. is bliss. Yes. All right. Um, so Euphoria, Ignorance is Bliss. Uh, Ignorance is Bliss is actually an expansion to Euphoria. Mm -hmm. So the expansion was designed by um, Morton Monrad Peterson, Nick Shaw, and David Studley. The original game Euphoria was designed by uh, Jamie Stagmeyer and um, Alan Stone. Mm -hmm. This, with the expansion, is going to play one to six players. So we're adding in an automa, okay. uh, which will make it soloable. Um, and soloable. Soloable. Yeah. <laughs> um, we'll be doing um, a lot of like dice rolling, but I call it like, dice for worker placement, mm -hmm. if you will. And um, should play in about 45 to 90 minutes. Okay. We'll see. We're going to be playing with uh, the two automa. Well, the single automa, which is actually two automa. Right. So. so it's a four player game. Yeah. All right. So join us at the table and we'll show you how it plays. All right. Welcome back. Here we have welcome Euphoria. To our Euphoria. It's a dystopia. So it's a euphoria. It's a, well, it is. They're in euphoria. <laughs> so they're, uh, what is euphoria? Euphoria is a game set in the future. Yes. In this uh, dystopian society. Correct. Where everybody's kind of in this haze of bliss where they just work. Um, the, <laughs> they just work. And they the, just don't they, even know what's going and on. And they're not, you know, they're happy. They don't know why. They think everything is perfect. It's sort of like a utopia, right? Yes. Uh, but it's really not. Right. Um, well, if it was, if it, if they, if it was not a dystopia, they would know it was like a dystopia, right? I guess like, so. They have to be ignorant enough to know it's not a dystopia. Yes. And ignorance is bliss. So what are we going to do? Okay. <laughs> We're two different, I guess, um, authorities within mm -hmm. within this world that are trying to uh, put the most authority out there, right? right? To sort of take it over and control it, um, leveraging these workers uh, while keeping them happy. Uh huh. And ignorant. Yeah, right? a little stupid. And a little stupid. So the smarter they get, the more they catch on, the more uh, chance, the greater the chances that they're going to leave us and you'll lose workers that way. But um, we're going to be doing a lot of worker placement, a lot of resource gathering, mm -hmm. and a lot of building up of the society while we um, you know, place out, a try to get our authority out on the board. Right. So real quick, we'll go over the setup. So here's the board. Um, it's quite big, a lot going on <laughs> here, like there's but on. there's really, it's really kind of straightforward. And it seems like a lot of stuff, but if you focus in on any one of these areas, they're pretty much the same. And mm -hmm. they do the same things, right. essentially, right? So what the game is, is it's broken up into four different factions. So five. Five different... No, four. No, four. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, you've got this uh, Icarus, which is kind of like the floating city, right? Yeah. Uh, which is, creates a lot of this drug called bliss right, right? That, so every every faction sort of specializes in a different type of resource and a different type of commodity so mm -hmm. there's resources and commodities in this game um, over here you have the wastelanders here you have the subterrans and over here you have the euphorians in, in euphoria right so they they create or they mine gold they generate energy these guys generate water uh, and stone over here in the wastelands, they, they, they farm, right? Mm -hmm. So they're out in the, in the, in the land and they're, and they're growing oranges, right? Yes. Uh, or mining clay. So to, to really keep it straight in this game, commodities are basically everything that's not a material from the ground, right? Mm -hmm. As in gold, clay, and stone. Those are your resources. Right. Commodities are power or energy, mm -hmm. water, oranges, which is food, right. or bliss. Like yeah. that to keep it straight. We're going to be placing workers out in these different locations, building buildings, um, and while we do that, we're going to be increasing the allegiance of each of these factions um, for public gain. Uh, gain. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So it's not like you're doing this for your own self. Everybody's working towards the same things, but it's impacting all of the different factions, and that's going to have uh, effects depending on what type of recruits you have working for you. Right. So. I'm not going to go into any more of how the game plays. We'll show you that in just a moment. But for what we have in front of us, we have player boards and we have recruits. So I'll go for my recruit. You go for your recruit. Okay. Uh, and in the beginning of the game, we draft two, uh, four recruits, and you pick four recruits and you draft two of them. Um, and the one, and one of them gets revealed. One, one stays hidden, and he gets or he, she gets revealed at, at a later point in the game through an, an event. But the one I have chosen is called Ahmed, the artifact dealer, and allows me to play one less commodity. 
than the cost oh. shown on the bazaar oh, okay. when I gain an artifact. Awesome. So at some point in the game, you'll be gaining these artifacts because they're good to, to trigger certain mm -hmm. actions. This this recruit allows me to ignore one of these costs because right. the further up they are, they cost, the more they cost. He, and he is also affiliated with the Icarus faction. So this is sort of the faction I kind of want to see get boop, uh, bumped up a bit. Right. You know? Okay, great. So I have Shahina the Digger. And so she allows me at the end of any of my turns, I can pay stone in order to gain an artifact, mm. um, but I have to pay the commodity price if I'm getting it right. from the bazaar, if there's a price. Okay, so. and this four colored pie means any, or any, any, commodity. any commodity. And the colors actually line up with the commodity, so it's yeah. pretty simple. Um, so we start with that. We, the Automa's over here, this whole side of the board. <laughs> so there's, there's two Automa players, essentially, and they are going to be um, directed by this deck of cards, and we've already drawn their first actions of the game and they're going to go after we go um and you'll see how that works yeah. so you're going to control them right yes. <laughs> uh, last but not least we each have 10 of these authority tokens the little stars the first player to get them out on the board wins that's it it's a race yeah. to get them out um we have two tracks we have happiness and knowledge knowledge or intelligence whatever you want yeah. to call it right so that starts at three the higher your intelligence the greater chance of workers leaving you because they figure out what's, what's going, going on, on. Yeah. <laughs> but also the more powerful some of your moves can be if that you have right. higher knowledge without going over the limit. correct and then you have happiness so the higher your happiness is the greater your hand limit is so right now we only have a hand limit of one and that's for artifact cards mm -hmm. the only cards you're going to get during the game and we each start with two workers and their dice we've rolled them and they are basically six-sided dice even though they look funny they look a little weird they have like gears on them and stuff but that's going to tell you the power or the intelligence of that worker when going out on and, and, and doing things, right? And, and certain actions uh, benefit from higher numbers, certain actions benefit from lower numbers, certain actions, it doesn't really matter. Yes. Um, so with that said, I think we are just about ready to start. Mm -hmm. ready? We have to uh, do our um, adjustments, I think. It looks like we're... But I think a, we're even, right? Well, blue is the highest. Right. Yeah, so blue is the highest, so you're actually going to end up getting um, a bonus. A bonus. So let's walk through that. Okay. Yeah, so I get two... Free commodities. Free commodities. That's so, so cheap. Well, it's the... You know, and the reason the why, bonus. while you're picking, mm -hmm. is because um, there's this new minority bonus with the expansion. So the minority faction bonus. Matt, yes, the faction bonus. So um, right now, we have four different factions represented. Mm -hmm. The highest faction represented is this blue faction, which I'm a part of. So because you have the lowest, you're one of the one of the minority, you get to take two commodities for free. Yep. I'll take those. So cheap. All right, your turn. So cheap. All right. Um, all right, now this like rarely happens. I don't think I've ever done this, but like I rolled doubles. Mm -hmm. And you also rolled I did doubles too, actually yeah. too. So in um, in the expansion, you can actually use both of these on the same turn. Um, if you spend a heart, right? The uh, original game, you still get to do it. You just didn't you have to pay a heart. Anything. Yeah. Yeah, it was very, very powerful. Uh, but I'm not gonna do that because I, I'm, my people aren't very happy right now, so no. I can't really force them to work any more than they are supposed to be. Um, so I'm just gonna go here to the farm and take a commodities action. So I place my die here. Now it's a six pip die. Um, so what that does is we'll take a look at the commodity track, and it's the same for each one and determine where this six lays. So that's actually right here in the middle. Um, how could you get more than uh, more than six, you ask? Um, what will happen is my die is gonna stay here and let's say Anthony wants to go there next. He's actually gonna have to add my knowledge mm -hmm. plus your knowledge, because I guess maybe they're talking. So like they're working people together. are like telling him all the juice. Oh, teamwork makes the dream work, <laughs> that's why. So you could end up with more. Um, so we'll have to do a knowledge check. In this case, um, I just have my six, um, I'm gonna get one food, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna be able to knock my knowledge down by one pip. Anyway, so I'm gonna move this down actually to, to the number two, yep. because I that was my bonus for getting yeah, to do that. That's really all there is to that's it. That's all it is, now yeah. it's your turn. It is my turn, so I'm gonna go and take my number five. Yeah, these aren't the greatest numbers, to be quite honest. Yeah, because uh, they're kind of like right in the middle. Well, it's good for now because you can get your knowledge down. I guess. So I'm going to go... Hmm. Hmm? I'm just looking at some pretty 
pretty good options, but I'm going to go, I should go here actually to the sky lounge. Yeah. That's what and I do. what that's going to do is it's going to push the, um, push these guys up one, right? Mm -hmm. So they all start, I think off the board. Mm -hmm. And then this guy gets pushed up one on the uh, Allegiance track yep. for Icarus. Mm -hmm. So now things are going to start happening when we push it up even further, but we'll get there. And that's what this symbol means. So I also get to collect uh, two resources. Yeah. That's incredible. Brick and mortar resources. Yeah. What do I want? After you pay those uh, commodities. Yeah. So sorry. <laughs> I do have to pay one... A commodity of any type and then one bliss so that is exactly what I had to start the game so but I do get to get two of these so yes, I guess I'm trading right so I'm, I'm bringing in some some resources so I guess let's see what I got going on here okay uh, what's a good one I think I'll go with I think I'll go with gold mm -hmm. <clears throat> and a clay oh, okay. those would be my two resources all right so now the automobile goes all right um all right so walk us through yeah so the automa is pretty straightforward it, it, it's always going to be these the, the black and white player mm -hmm. and they have their own pre-constructed constructed. decks that you put <laughs> yeah. together um and then even though i flipped this up before we should be flipping it now right because we'd start with one card and then we flip this card and what you're going to look at is just what's in the middle here and this is what the automa is going to do it's and making it's, like a puzzle Pretty straightforward. They don't get resources. They don't um, do a lot of things that we would do. They don't have happiness. They don't have mm -hmm. um, intelligence to worry about. They're literally just going to go out there and, and try to get their stars out on the board, right? Because right. everybody's trying to get 10 stars out. So you're just going to look at the center section, and it's going to tell you exactly what to do. And they've also been each assigned a faction. So that's that's really what they're going to try to go for, depending on what the card says. So the first thing you do is you look up here, and it's going to the commodities market. Right. So they're going to burn this card. Yep in the commodities market that's going to get discarded and then this is all going to slide down and it's really just kind of cleaning up and simulating somebody buying yep right that card uh the next thing it's going to go so this is saying this is the camp symbol so if they were to bring back their workers from the board which we will all have to do mm -hmm. at some point they would leave one worker out there right you know um but that's that's irrelevant because they don't have any out on the board. So so now the black player goes. So the black player has that symbol to do with the two little things. So <laughs> this is gonna this is saying that it's gonna be his faction. So right. he's got the wastelander faction. Mm -hmm. So that symbol means he's gonna go mining. Yep. So we take his highest, highest. worker. So that is his six. Yep. Boop. He go. mines, which in turn pushes the miner up one notch towards here. Now these tunnels are basically building a tunnel from faction to faction because mm -hmm. they want to steal each other's resources. Right. It's going to give us some more powerful moves um, later on and also kind of trigger our workers if you belong to that faction as well. So mm -hmm. that you'll see that kind of happen later. Uh, what else do we have for the white player? Um, so for the white player, he is going to go to the subterranean sub down here. Yep. And he's actually going to do a commodities action. That's right. Um, now, for the commodities, he's actually going to take his lowest pip count die. Yep. Um, because, like we said, we're going to be adding these together. So Correct. Uh, we'll take his weird number two. Put that there. Right. He doesn't actually get commodities. So he's just going to sit there. That's it for Automa. So, okay. your so turn. So, my turn, I guess. With my other big six, <laughs> six die. Mm. Yeah, the six is kind of like... It's tough. Great. It is tough. Um, all right, well, I don't know if I want to, I think I'll go up here and I'll just lower my knowledge again and get a cloud, a bliss. A bliss. I like how you put the giant ones out there. Too. I know. <laughs> Those came with the expansion as well. They They're did. Like enormous. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and start building. What? I'm going to choose that space, and I'm going to pay one gold, Okay. and I'm going to build. So, in a four-player game, three spaces need to be worked on mm -hmm. in uh, in order to finish the building. Simultaneously. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so uh, but you could there. leave your guy out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you retrieve, you can leave him out there. All right, so we discard yep. the that card, mm -hmm. and then we flip, slide it over, and we yep. flip the next. Flippy. Yeah, it's kind of a neat um, system how Very they kind neat. of just go together like that. All right, so All what right. do we have for Black Fire? So, 
Um, Black Playa is going to do a commodities action. In Cloud Mine. Up in Icarus. Okay. Uh, so that's going to be a one. Yep. Let's send that up there. So that is his action. And then White Player? Uh, White Player is going to also do a commodities action in his Sub -tower. action. Yeah. Sub so another. So another. <laughs> all right wow so that is it for them yeah okay. all right um and i have no dice left so um i'm going to use my turn to recall my workers mm -hmm. and how this works is i'm going to recall both of these guys um which is going to cost me and there is it should still be on right here, here right right here um so if i if i pull back i can pay a food to pull back all my workers, and that actually lets me go up to happiness because you're paying the workers to come mm -hmm. back. Um, or you can choose to not feed them or give them anything and just pull them back, and you lose a heart. Um, my people aren't very happy, so I'm just going to keep them not very happy right now and pull these guys back for sort of free. And then yeah, them. it's essentially free because you don't have any happiness to lose. Right. All right. This is five. where you do your check. Yes. Okay. So this is where you do your check. So I'm gonna. I have a five and a one. So that's a six plus one. And what we're looking for is to just make sure that we're not going over sixteen. Correct. So if we are greater than or equal to sixteen, we actually end up losing a worker. So. You lose workers. Yeah. Uh, I'm also gonna pull back my worker for free. I don't even have to worry about the check because one die really isn't going to get me. So five and three is eight. I'm way below. Um. And that's it for me. I don't okay. lose happiness because I'm at zero. So, Automa goes. Okay. Wrong. Oops. Nope. There we go. <laughs> okay. Um, they both have two left. So, he's going to do a. What is his faction? Waste. He's mine. going to the mine. Yeah. He's mining. With the highest? Yep. So he's going to bump himself out. Now there's squares with arrows on them that a lot you any player can bump any player out. The only spaces you cannot bump players out is on these. Yep. So that gets rolled and added back to his pool. Yep. And he's going to push the miner up another space. Yeah, this wow. is great. Okay. Um, and then he's also going to go to the wastelands and do, and do a, a commodities commodity. action. Yeah, so that's so up, so up here. Boop. All right, so they're done. All right. I will go, I think I'll go up here and get some more clouds. And that's also going to push the that's a two. That's pushing yeah. Icarus up one. Your turn. And I have a five, huh? Oof. I need some commodities. <laughs> I'm really hurting. Yeah, now. it's like super slow in the beginning. I might as well go here and get some water. So that's okay. a five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's nine plus. So I get two water. And these mm -hmm. giant water drops <laughs> are worth five. So they're out here. And they come with the expansion too. Two water and some knowledge. Okay. Um, and I will... Well, what? Oh, oh yeah, turn. that's right. <sighs> Silly Autumn is in their turns. They just want to play too. I know they just want to play. All right, so we're camping. Um, we've got the black player going to uh, Euphoria territory. Right. Um, and they are going to do a... Yeah, and this this Mining. has a nice Mining. little uh, cheat sheet, so he's gonna go to the tunnel. Yeah. Um, okay. So he's mining in Euphoria. With his with the highest. Highest, right? So here. Boom. Boom. Knock that up. He's gonna progress a little bit. Uh, who's the last? Uh, the white guy, right? So he's got what action? All right. So he's actually gonna pull back. Yeah. Because um, he's taking a commodities action. Right, so he's only got one die left, so he's going to pull back and he's going to leave one. One die out there. Okay. So I guess it would be silly to pull all those back. Right, so we'll pull his mm -hmm. highest dice back. Okay. And we'll roll, roll those up. Okay. Cool. Alright, now it's you. Okay. And now I will go here. And I will trade in this guy and this guy. Food and bliss. Food and bliss. Bump that. Cloud Icarus nine goes up. up one. And I get two resources of any type. Right. So. I will take this guy and this guy. All right. So I'm going to put this token for cloud nine up here in the commodities market because we've we're in this section now so the mm -hmm. first section gives you a plus one bonus if you have a 
um, member of that a recruit of that, of that faction. faction, you'll gain this bonus. And a bonus here is one extra bliss if you generate bliss. Mm -hmm. Just because you're, that faction is getting stronger and you have a recruit from that faction. Right. Uh, again, I've got only one die, so I've got to pull it back and suffer the happiness penalty that I don't have to worry about. Two. Um, and it's them. Okay. Um, okay. This is like so quick when you're running this Automa, you can't really think about your own turn. I know. Um, okay, so. Uh, so he's gonna pull back. Black player's gonna pull back because he's doing commodities. So what right. do we say? Just pull back the And this highest. is a non camping round, so he's pulling them all back. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. When they time. wouldn't do that is if they had a builder out. Yeah. Okay. Wow, that's a little And nice. white player. White player is also doing commodities in Subterra. So. Uh, yeah, they're just wow. pumping out the okay. water. It's ridiculous. Okay. Um, and I have no people left, so I will pull back as well. All right. Uh, pulling, back. pulling back dice and rolling back them. For free. Kind of for free. Well, it's always free until you get some happiness, and then all I bets know. are off. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to go to, I might as well go to cloud nine. And you do a two action, which is going to be pushing this up. Well, first you get your bliss. So I'm going to get one bliss plus one because I have a an uh, Icarus recruit. Mm -hmm. So I get the bonus from the Allegiance track. So I will get two bliss. And it also pushes the Allegiance track up one. So right. you always collect your reward first so that mm -hmm. if you're not on the track yet, you don't get the reward. Yeah. It's really the next time. Okay, excellent. Okay, so let's do... Oh, we're out of cards. And grab every card yep. and one of the decks that we've yes, gotten. Yes, these are pre-constructed. going to be shuffled together. Want to shuffle? Sure. I'm not very good at shuffling. <laughs> and then we're going to start back up again. Yes. And then after this runs out, we'll grab another deck, and then that'll no, be it. the yeah. main deck for the Automa. I guess it kind of yeah. Is. So you can, um, while you're shuffling, you can actually build these decks to be very tough. We did the intermediate, which is like the second yeah. grade one. <laughs> it's a lot of levels. Here so, um, so yeah, they can be really difficult. So we'll do the support first, and then we'll draw another card, just like we did in the beginning, like Sarah. All right. Um, all right. So black player is going to go to commodities for his faction and take this one. Commodities. Okay. And white player is going to go mining down here. Oh, on the subterrains. Yes. Yep. Right Come there. On. So okay. we are good. Perfect. My turn. Excellent. I'm going to go here and contribute to this building. Mm. One gold one gold i'm going to pull my worker back roll the die and it's automa okay um commodities and it's not camping all right so commodity so we'll do the well, black flare goes so first he's so he's going, going here go here there you go he's just farming away and uh, White's going to pull all their people back. Pull their, and leave the highest. No, but no, we're not camping. not camping. Yeah, we did it wrong before. It's leave the highest one out. Yeah. So roll those up. Okay. And we're good. Okay. All right. Great. So then you I go. Um, uh, I don't know what I want to do. I have this brick, and I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Um, I think I actually... Yeah, I guess I'll do this. I'll just finish off this okay. guy. So you can get your worker back. Place a, place a brick. All right, so what's going to happen here, we have successfully completed this construction project. So we're going to flip this and this now becomes the field of agrophobia. Ooh. Um, and we're going to slide this over to cover up all the uh, commodities that were required to help build it or the resources rather that were required. Uh, these are going to come back to us and we can roll them. Um, and then what we've revealed is a new space where we can go uh, to 
put out some stars. So you're going to start to see us like put out some stars. Um, and we're going to do that right now. So anybody who contributed to that construction project gets to put out one of their stars, and we yep. both did. And we're not affected by yes, this by penalty. penalty. So if you don't have a star there, you can't place a star on an empty territory. Ah, that's tough. And that's going to penalize both of the Automa. Of the Automa. So they're going to flip their cards, and now they're penalized. So any time an Automa from this point forward rolls a six until they can contribute to this, mm -hmm. their six die will get trapped here. And it could be all their dice at some point yeah. if they don't ever get you know on the board. Okay. So, so that was my turn. That was your, was your turn. turn. All right, good. You freed up some dice for me. I did. <laughs> it's very good for me. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take some water. Okay. One water, and I'm going to push up this track one. Okay. Subterranean track. And now it's the Automa. Okay. Okay, so Black Player is going to go mining in the Wastelands Tunnel. Mm. Oh, he's going to go mining in the yeah. tunnel, so he's really pushing the Wastelands up. Yeah. Um, and White Player is going to do commodities in the Wastelands. Also. Wow, there's so wow. many Jeez, Louise. people out there. Okay. The autumn is all over that. They are. It's total farming. Yeah, okay. Um, all right, my turn. Actually, we... What? When they mined there, mm -hmm. for those two ones, we should have pushed oh, yeah, um, farm there. They should have pushed that up. Okay. Got to remember to do that. Mm -hmm. um, where do I want to go? All right, I think I would like to... I think I'll go here as well. So that's a total of two. So I get one water. And we're moving that guy up, right? Yep, just moves it up one. Okay. Now, I have this recruit, mm -hmm. but we weren't moved up into that section when I took this, so I don't get the bonus. That's right. I'll start getting it next turn. Okay, my turn? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to go here. Mm. And I'm worker activation. Nice. I'm going to pay three water, and I'm going to gain two happiness. Yeah. Because I've just activated a worker. Very good. And I get... A third die. Hmm. Fancy. All right. Um, so black is doing commodities. There's no camping, so he's taking all these guys back. All right, taking everybody back. Yep. It's about time. Roll them up. There we go. Um, and then white player is also doing commodities in down there. Where? Uh. In subtower. Yes. All right, so now there's a lot going on there. All right, he didn't roll any sixes. Mm -mm. Oh, um, yeah, he rolled two. No, white. White rolled two. White just oh, went. Oh, white just went. No, they had them, okay. yeah. Okay. All right, your turn. Five, six. And if I want to get a worker too. Hmm. Hmm. Um, no, I think I'm going to go here, actually. So we'll push that ignite up again. Yeah, of and course. Yeah, Ign I don't know why I always call it Ignite. Icarus. This and that, and I get two of anything. And I will take a stone and like a brick. Okay. Okay. Your turn. Um. I'm going to go here to the breeze bar, and that's going to push this up again, mm -hmm. and I'm going to get two cards, but I'm going to get a third card because this was already in mm -hmm. that territory. Um, yes, you are, and your hand limit is good, so yep. you will. So I will take one, mm -hmm. and if I pay one less, you pay one less commodity than the cost shown on the bazaar, if any, when you gain an artifact. Yes, but you're actually going to move all those down first. 
So that's fine. in case you want that. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Yeah. One, two. So every time I get one, it's one discount. I think that's pretty good. So I'm going to pull my workers back, but I don't want to lose any happiness. So if you pull them back without paying anything, you're going to lose a happiness. But I want to pay, and you can pay either food or bliss. So I'm going to pay one bliss to mm -hmm. pull them back, and I'm actually going to gain two happiness because yes. my workers are they're so they're happy. living in bliss right now. So two happiness. I have a hand limit of five, and I've got three happy workers. So five, six, seven, eight, nine plus four is thirteen. I'm still good. Okay. That's good. Okay. This work gets nerve-wracking when you have three dice because yeah, you can I get know. really close. Yeah, you can get very close. Um, all right, so black is going to go mining in the Wastelander track. Yep. Wow, so much mining. Go. I know. And then white's going to oh, do Oh, mining, you said. What? Sorry, mining. Yeah, mining. Um, white's going to do commodities, so they're pulling everybody back. Except oh. for one. So they're, they're camping? Yes. So their highest die is going to stay out there. Okay. So there you go. Oh, and they are safe. Oh, wow. Well. Okay. Yeah. All right. My turn? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Um, I guess I'll go out here. Oh, you're going to start stone. building. Might as well. One stone, huh? Oh, actually, I'll do a brick. Okay. Why don't you want to do a stone? <laughs> Good. Uh, I guess I should go out here as well and do a brick. Yeah. <laughs> so that I don't get left behind. Yeah, I don't get left well, behind. Well, a clay. Yes. It is the autumn turn. Okay. Um, I'm like thinking about it as if I can actually do something. I know. <laughs> So they're going to burn the cheap card. Yes. I'll take um, care of that. Black is going mining in the Vorian Tunnel. Doot. Okay. Um, and then white is doing commodities again down here. Down here. Actually, that's not bad. What number is uh, Lowest die? Yeah, two. Two. So that goes here. Yep. And they're going to push up the water track. Yeah. Okay. okay. Great. I should probably be getting some water. Um, okay, so I'll go here and finish this off. Alright. I just gotta jump on my construction projects. Yeah, I'll take you guys. The Bureau of Restricted Tourism. Alright, so you can't place workers if you have two or more on the board. Well, wow. that's irrelevant for us. Because, and these are really only going to penalize us. Them, their penalty yeah. is they get a six locked up. So right. they're not going to get the full brunt. So you don't want yeah. these if... You want to be part of these projects. You do. You really do. Yeah. You can get a, a star on there, but it's a lot more work. Right. All right, so that was your turn? Yep. Oh, okay. Well, in that case... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go here. Okay. And I'm going to generate some power. So nice. I'm going to take one power. You can generate power at all. I've not yet this game. And I'm going to push up, finally, this... You, uh, is it Euphoria? Generator? Yeah, the Euphorian... Yeah. The Euphorian Allegiance. Nice. So let's go to the... Automa. Okay. What? Oh, they're building now, finally. All right, they're burning that card. They're not the burning bizarre. anything. They're not burning anything. Oh, I looked at Take the wrong one. Sorry. Yeah. Um, building on Icarus. So the black player is building on Icarus. So they're going to put a star, um, but they can't they're, build they Icarus. Can't. Yeah. So what's going to happen is they're going to go in the chart so there's a chart of how the affiliation works the faction areas mm -hmm. so they're actually going to so when you have a construction thing they're going to actually look for the bottom most space in icarus but you can't build on icarus so it's going to look for the wasteland territory and is there anything constructed in wasteland yes so um, it's going to look for any unconstructed markets there mm -hmm. is one and it's going to put a worker on the bottom most space okay there. Right. So okay. that is the black team. Done. Um, and then our white player is going to do this action down here in Subterra. Oh, okay. 
So bring their six over. Okay. And they're going to put a star right over here yeah, in the territory. Six. So they're going to start blocking so that up. They've drawn blood finally. Okay. All right. Yeah, that was a powerful it was very powerful. set of actions. Yeah. How do I feel about that? Okay. Um, all right, so we did that. Hmm. Where are we on all these charts? Let's see. Five, six, seven, six, seven, eight. Hmm. Ah, it's still not enough. My people are still very, very silly, very stupid. So it doesn't really benefit me to like try to push my knowledge down, you mm -hmm. know? Um, what do I want to try to do? I have like no resources at all. <laughs> Yeah, it's tough. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I don't... The thing is, my dice are so high that I don't, like, want to go down there because it's not going to do anything that's really going to, like, benefit. It'll get you a lot of water. Personally. What? You know, one water. Yeah, I guess it's not... Yeah, it's not, it's not... It gets me, like, eight, so it's, like, not even close enough, really. Um, all right, I guess I'll I guess I'll just go down here anyway. So I've got eight. And I get an extra water. Oh. All right, so you take two water then, yeah. Yep. And you lose. Well, you don't even have the knowledge have. to lose. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to go and I'm going to bump him out. So you want to okay. re-roll him. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to pay an energy to use Ooh, the six. tunnel. Oh, so that gets trapped. Sorry. Stop. And I'm going to take a gold brick. So you get a gold brick or an artifact card. I'll take the gold brick and I'm going to push him up a step. Oh, I thought you were saying I get to take one. No, like, you don't really? get a gold brick. I don't brick. think so. <laughs> now they go. All right, what are we doing? Okay, so black is pulling everybody back because they have nobody. Okay. Right? Yep, so three dice back. What? Oh, locking them up. Sorry, dude. Okay. Um, and... Building on... The is going to build down here. Down here, so they're going to go into the lowest... Right here. Okay. ...available. Cool. All right, your turn. Interesting. I was kind of hoping they would bring their people back, but... Yeah. Okay. Hmm. I guess we'll go up here. And just get a One cloud. bliss, yeah. Maybe? Yeah, I guess. It's like the best I can do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a five, huh? What, up there? Yeah. Yeah. Yikes. I need... Did you put one of those little things down here to remind us? Uh, which one is it? Subterran, the water. Oh, the water ones. Yeah, so that'll go here. And the food. Food one's up there, too? Yeah. Oh, wow. There you go. Uh, I'm going to go... I'm going to go get, I'm going to go here, Okay. and that's a four, mm -hmm. so I will get a power, I will push this guy up one, and that's it. Okay. So white's going to pull everybody back. White doesn't have any dice, huh? Nope. But they're, they're camping. camping, so they're going to leave that, well they're definitely leaving this guy out here, so. Yeah. They'll pull those back. And black is commodities in wastelands. 
Okay, right that's a four, so he's going to push Wasteland up one. Okay. And it is your Great. turn. Alright. Uh, so I will take my people back again. Okay. Do I want to feed them? Well, you can get them Maybe. back for free. Oh, you want to get some happiness finally? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> you've had the most miserable workers ever. I have. Ever. Um, no, I'm not ready yet. I'm okay. not ready to make them happy. All right, that's fair. <laughs> uh, I'm going to bring mine back. Ooh, twos. See, I, I can't, I can't I, do two actions. I'll take the penalty of happiness because it's okay. only going to bump me to four, so yeah. I'm still in good shape. Okay. I'll take all these guys. All right, these guys are... Three, six, two. seven, eight plus four is twelve. I'm good. Alright, I'm shuffling in this next deck. Oh wow, that deck's done. Here. It is done. Here you go. I'm You're shuffling. That. I'm this shuffling next in deck. the next deck. <laughs> so there's a lot of actions going on here. It's a whole lot of action. Mm-hmm. Well, I have a feeling they're gonna start building more this round. Yeah. It starts off really slow. Yeah. Then it starts building. It's like Yeah, I'm assuming the later oops. decks you built these, I didn't look at it. I did. So the later decks are gonna be more building mm -hmm. actions. Yeah. Uh, less uh, generating resources actions mm -hmm. and tunneling. All right, so that's good okay. enough. Let's go with that. All right. All right, so okay. we are burning a yes. card this time. Um, black is going to do a mining action, so they're going to pull everybody back. All right. Uh, oh, one's camping. They're camping, so he'll stay out there. So that's it. And you, just yeah, these. so just pull those two. So just the ones that were locked on that yep. six. And he's got actions. All right. Um, white is going to do commodities in the subterra. Okay, like that's going to push subterra up one. Okay, great. Okay. Great, great, great. Um, I have a two. Hmm. Hmm. I think I am going to go to, I'm actually going to go up here to the Sky Lounge, mm -hmm. pay a water and a bliss, and that's going to push up Icarite territory, mm -hmm. yep. and I can get two things. So Two resources. These two. Okay. I'm going to go here. Mm-hmm to the aquifier and grab mm -hmm. one water and push. Actually, I think I want a brick. This and a brick. Okay, but I like to diversify. Push the aquifier up one. Okay. All right. Great. Their turn. Yes. All right, so we have commodities in Icarus for black. Oh, they're gonna burn that second card. The, the copy of Viticulture. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so Icarus Commodities is a one, and white is going to do mining. Well, Icarus is on. Oh, so anybody ah, who nice. has an Icarus card hidden now reveals it. Boom. Nice. I have Keb the Information Trader. Oh, all right. What does He's he trading do? Commodities. Um, he allows me before I check my knowledge. If I if my collective knowledge is fourteen or more. I can gain a resource or a commodity. Hmm. Uh, and then white is going to do mining in down here, Subterra. Oh, the way. Oh. <laughs> there you go. There we go. All uh, right. So now if, if either of them were the Icarus faction, they would have actually gotten a star mm -hmm. on the board yeah, for that. Not. Thank goodness. Um... Hmm. All right, I'm going to go here. Mm -hmm. Pay my stone. All right. 
to that project. So I'm going to go here mm -hmm. and pay a gold. Nice. I'm actually going to pay a heart because I'm going to do two actions so that double threes. Mm -hmm. So that's my first action. So let's resolve let's do that. this. Yep. Oops. Flip it. What is it? It is the Atanium of Mandatory Guidelines. <laughs> when placing a star, lose a heart. But we both uh, don't have to worry about that penalty. Okay. And neither does... Wow, okay. Which yes. one of those guys did it? Which die did you have to reroll? Oh, that's right, the white one. Yeah, so he actually gets a star there. Mm -hmm. uh, they're still suffering the penalties because they haven't placed on these right, yet yeah. either. So, okay. That's interesting. Very good. So what's your second action? My be? second action is going to be... Did you just re-roll that one? I didn't. I re-rolled another three. Another three? <laughs> yeah, okay. I've got so okay. many threes. I'm going to go here and... And tunnel? Go to the Euphorian Tunnel. Pay an energy and take a gold bar and move him up one. Nice. Boop. Okay. All cool. right. Okay. Wow. Okay. So many commodities. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do commodities in Wastelands. Mm -hmm. And commodities in down here. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's not Three, moving. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, so it's not moving. Goodness gracious. All right. Uh, my turn? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Um, all right, I'm going to go here and kick this guy out. Okay. Um, and I'm going to pay a water. And because we're here and I have that recruit, I'm actually going to get both of those things. You would get them anyway because it's already here. That's what I mean. Yeah, this but reward gives you both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, have yeah. to have a recruit to Yes, do you it. do. Yeah, so I'm going to get a stone and I'm going to get a card. Yep. And I guess I'll take that baseball bat. Uh, okay. You want to pay? I uh, know. I don't have really any. Come on. I don't have anything to pay. Uh, all right. Anything else. Yes, because you have a recruit for that faction, you do get the bonus. Yeah. The subterran tunnel bonus. Mm hmm. Okay, so I will do something else. I'm going to go get some more energy. Okay. And bump this faction up. Okay. Okay. Automa. 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 It's very fast, right. Automa. Construction though. for black. Yep, so he is definitely going to do it. He's going to go to the west. So he's actually going to put a star... Or? On here, that's oh, going to be his built, action. Yep. Right. That is right. So that's what he's going to do instead. Um, so we put him here. Oh, okay. If there's a building built mm -hmm. that already that he doesn't have a star on, right. that's priority. Okay. So he's going to put a star there yeah, now. That's right. Like that's what he does because they are trying to get rid of their penalties. Right. ASAP. Mm -hmm. So that's his action. Okay. And the white? White is doing a mining action. In Wastelander. In Wasteland. Oops. All right. Five. So white hit that, which bumps anybody who's got a Wastelander tunnel. Mm -hmm. They're Wastelander. Yeah. So they actually would get a star. Right. Instead sure. of, because they don't have the, uh, the, the recruit. What you call it. Right. So that just goes down yeah, here. Yeah. To track it. Yep. Yeah. All right. And that's it. Uh, so it's your turn. Uh, I want to make one correction. Yeah. Well, I had to recheck this in the Automa book because there's a lot of rules. So they actually go in a certain order. They look for any building that's under construction first, and they would add to that. Yes. If that doesn't, if that's not the case, they would look for any building that's not being currently constructed. So he would go actually here. Mm -hmm. So then they go to the bottom of the space. If there was, if both buildings were already built. He would then look for the one with with the penalty. With the penalty. Okay. So that's how it's got to go. Right. I give you so much credit for that for understanding the automas. Yeah. I do we don't do a lot of automas. Um, but well, I, know I you used to used to be like the king of automa. I, I did. I did really love the automas. I do. I do enjoy them quite a bit. Um, yeah. They're so. brilliant. I just don't understand them. I'm taking these guys back. Okay. For free. 
for free for no happiness. I have nothing to give them. Uh, I have absolutely nothing to give do. them. I do. I have bliss steel. to give mine. Okay. <laughs> so they'll get two happiness. Yes. And I will take them all back. Okay. One, two. I've got things I need to do. Where's my third die? Oh, here. Three. All right. Okay. So now the automa goes. Five, six, seven, nine, ten. I'm good. Okay, perfect. All right. Here we go. Oh, so many construction projects. Yeah, I knew it. Okay. Well, he actually, Black can't do anything. He needs to take everybody back. Except so for he's one guy. pulling. So he's under guys. construction here, though. So give me back everybody else. Okay, so then he will take these back. And White is also doing construction mm -hmm. on the subterrans. Mm -hmm. So he will actually go there based on the rules. Drink. Perfect. Start that one off. Wow. Okay. <laughs> well, this changes everything. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to go get some water, but now I think I'll work on a research project. Oh, my. Construction project. Yeah. All right. Go here with the brick. Okay. Your turn. My turn? Mm-hmm. Okay. So what I'll do then is go to the mine. Mm. I'm going to pay an energy. I'm going to take... I'm going to take a card. Okay. How many cards do you have? Three? I have three. I have a limit of five. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pay a water because I can ignore one. And I'm going to take the teddy bear. Okay. Cool. Um, not done yet. Oh. He's going to go here. Mm. It's going to flip, flip Euphoria, which I have. Carry the Care Bear. When I gain a bear, I also gain an orange and any other Wow, too bad you didn't just commodity. slip that before you. I know, but I wanted to get that out there. <laughs> That's good. That's very good. Um, so that is that. There are no, they don't, they're not Euphoria, so they don't get that trigger yeah. bonus. Okay. Um, all right. Up to... We're doing commodities for black in cloud mine. cloud mine so we are going up one getting so close yep and then white's gonna pull everybody back because they have nobody out and is not camping so so they will take all four but all three back so they'll leave the they'll leave the builder bob the builder okay all right, all right. so we are good good uh my turn mm -hmm. we'll do this so you are going to complete completing the what are we even building like the people know. don't even know what they're building oh, they're yeah. just like oh what do you need the institute of orwellian optimism oh, nice. oh it's like the quote all right i'll roll these roll so the penalty one. now that i have to face because i didn't Six. contribute is after rolling workers treat each worker that rolled one or two as threes during the knowledge check oh, okay. oh all right so they're increasing your worker thing. yep so you get one and white gets one right yep. White okay. is all over the board. I know, jeez. Yikes. Okay, right. so what I'll do now is I'm going to go here. Mm -hmm. And uh -huh. I'm going to pay one gold. And, and a teddy bear. <laughs> one teddy bear that I just picked mm -hmm. to get push this up one okay. and get a star out on the board. Nice. And I can put that star right there. Yep, you can put it there or there. That's choice. part of the new expansion. That is. Okay. You couldn't. Yeah, do they that really before. opened up the like where you can put your stuff. Okay. Um, okay, this guy, right? Uh, all right, black is going mining over here. He's really pushing that up, isn't he? Mm-hmm. And white is going commodities trading down here. Hmm. Wow. Hmm. Okay. Um, uh, it's my turn. Oh. Not your turn. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine, ten. Hmm. Hmm. What are you thinking? I'm just thinking about. I, I was. I'm just double checking to make sure I can put my star on that because. 
When visiting a constructed market like on which you do not have authority token, you can play, choose to place authority token instead of placing it on the territory. Yeah, so I think... I feel like you can place it there or there. Yeah, I think the you're right. Not I think on you're the, right. Not so on, like, anything else. What I'll do, then, just to make right, okay. I'll just take my gold back, and I'm actually going to just go here. Because mm -hmm. I should be able to put it on here, right? Or no? I don't think so. No. And I'll just do... I'll pay two teddy bears because mm -hmm. two equals three. Yeah. In this case, in this game, two of the same card equals is the same as three artifact cards. And then I get a star. And instead of putting it there, I'll put it out. Yeah. Why did I take that white one? Yeah. Why did you take that one? one? There. Okay. okay. Um, six, seven, eight. Mm. These sixes. Why are the people not doing commodities where I need them to be doing commodities? Mm. <laughs> um. Oh, well, I guess I will. Six, seven, eight. I'll go. I'll go up here for eight, and I'll take two of these because I have representation up there. Mm -hmm. All right. I will go. Hmm. I'll go here as well, and I'm going to get two gas and move my intellect down one. Okay. Now that's ten. It would actually go up one. Yeah. I'm not going there. <laughs> no way, no how. I will go here. Okay. And I'll take two energy. And go up one. And bump up one on this track. Okay. Um, at four. Oh, yeah, this guy's going. What are they gonna do? What? More oh, construction? Building on Westerlander. Okay. And. Oh, no. Ooh. Yeah, so she's gonna actually put another star out here. So out she's here. going here. She's gonna bump me off. Yeah. Going here, and they're gonna go out here. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. That's not good. The other one really mixes it up. Yeah, tell it you. does. So I go here. Four, five, six. One water. Two water. Because I've got. Oh, you have a waterworks like person. Suburb. Ah, person. very nice. I'm gonna go here. Yeah, I figured. Pay gold. And build this. Beautiful. It's, it's Dilemma's Prison. What? When, re when retrieving all your workers, a player to your right can immediately retrieve one worker. Oh, all right. This is right or left, but that would just be me. <laughs> um, where's the... Oh, they just have two on there. Okay. I put a star on there. Yep. And we are just mm. trucking along. Wow, okay. Yeah, so I'm... Oh, we're almost going to go. Um, Black is going to do commodities down here. So That's interesting. Commodities. They're not going to push the track up, though, so... White is going to yeah, go... Yeah, because it's so much. Um, white's going to go commodities. Oh, no, they're not. They're actually going to pull everybody back. White. Really? Well, they're commodities. They only have one. Oh, yeah. Okay, here. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. One, two, three. All right. Now it's my turn. And I have to pull everybody back, so... You get to pull somebody back. Oh, I do! <laughs> I'll take this guy. Ah, uh, no. What was he? At five? I'm gonna leave him here. I'll take this guy instead. Three. So now these threes are treated as, as a, f as plus what according to this thing. Now two ones and twos are treated as threes. So threes are threes. All right. So I'm fine. <laughs> uh, yikes. Okay. What am I gonna do? Well, actually, I have two threes. I should be able to do. My doubler action. Why? Because you had a three sitting there. I guess. I don't know. I'm not oh, going yeah. to, but... You can, if you want. 
Um, I'm going to go get gas. Three, four, five. That'll give me two gas, and I'll lose one, one uh, knowledge, which is what I want. A lot of stuff built. I know. Um, all right. Five, six, two, three. Ten. Wow. Do I want like lots of clouds or do I want to get some water? <laughs> that is the question. It is a lot of clouds. A lot of clouds and water you got. Um, I know, and it's not necessarily it's not necessarily bad either. Um, I th I'll do that. I'm gonna put this up here. That gives me ten, so I'm actually gonna get three clouds. Yep, and one and one knowledge. knowledge. All right. So with my final action, I'm gonna go here. And I'm going to pay one balloon, mm -hmm. one lightning bolt, and one bliss to increase this by one. So that it activates all. Mm -hmm. She actually gets a star for that. Um, White. Oh, right. Because she just right, hit the, yeah. the activate the recruit, right? Yeah. Um, and... I get a star. You get a star. You get a star. You get a star. Get All a right. Star. So now I could put it there. I yes. have my choice to put it here. Or I could put it here. Okay. So now I don't have that penalty. Right. It's his turn. Oh, right. Thinking about my own turn. I know. All right. Lots of commodities. So Black's going to come back. They're camping. So. They are camping. So they're going to leave the two out. Uh, they're gonna Why do I feel like they're, yeah, they're they like missing a lot of dice. Okay. Um, and then white is also doing commodities. That's a six. So they put one a one out. Where are they going? Is going to, to down here. Water. Yep. And they're going to push water up again. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yes. That's not good. <laughs> go up here hmm. and pay a cloud and water to get two things. Mm -hmm. I will take, okay. Um, I'll take the happiness hit to pull back you you and you. All right, Automa. Okay. So now I have a pair of ones, just so you know. Mm -hmm. So I can. Um, all right, so black is mining in the wastelands. So well, they're going to kick themselves, well, themselves out. themselves out, yeah. Roll that up. And white is Commod trading. Commodities. In their own territory. I and mean, they love their own yeah, territory. They wow, they just bumped it up again. Yay! Well, it's not really good because no, <laughs> like, they're actually, low on white stars over there. They're doing pretty well right yes. now. My turn? Yep. Um, all right, I'm going to, I'll actually pay a bliss this time to bring my people back. So you can bring somebody back. I already pulled them all back. I know you did. And I get to bump up two happiness. All right, so I'm going to pay a happiness. I'm going to play my two ones. Okay. So my first one will be to go here. And I'll pay energy mm -hmm. and I'll take I'll take the gold. And my second one. Oh, and he goes up one. 
my second one is going to be to get energy. So I get one, two energy because of my bonus. Mm -hmm. And it's going to push this up one. Problem is, like none of them are pushing my Euphoria track. I know at all, mm -hmm. except for now. Yeah, except for right now. <laughs> <laughs> right now, uh, <laughs> Black Player is going to push you for you. Yeah, so they're going to do commodities <sighs> down here. In Euphoria. Over here, yep. There you go. Push it up. Mm -hmm. Um, and then commodities in white. Again, so that just finished Yay. it. So everybody so get a star. And that goes on your, oh, goes on on your end, right? recruit, and they actually get another star. Yes, because they also have this recruit. Yep. So white is down to four. Mm, not good. No. All right, is it my turn? It is your turn. Here we go. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to go tunneling. Oh. So I'm going to pay this guy, and I'm going to get a card. Which and one? I guess balloons. No, oh, more balloons. And a stone. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go and bump myself out of the tunnel. And I'm going to get pay and energy, and I'm going to actually get both rewards. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to get a gold and nice. a card. And a card. Take the gold. Would you like the copy of Viticulture? <laughs> as much as I would, I already own a copy of Viticulture. I'll take a balloon. Okay. I'll slide everything down. I don't have to pay because of my artifact dealer. Mm -hmm. I'll put another pair of broken mm -hmm. glasses out there. Um, did I move him up one? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. He's close. He's close. Automa. Oh no, she's Ooh, building. Oh, uh. Mm. All right, so both of these construction projects are actually already built. Yeah, so the, you have the handy-dandy chart. So the Automa yeah. is pretty straightforward, right? So he's going to look for space on construction. Oh, but Black doesn't have any there. So. Oh, this is Black? Going? Yeah, this is Black. Oh, okay. Well, in that case... Well, in that case... He's going to put a star anywhere. on one of them. So put his die oh, yeah, on yeah. whatever space he's going on. I Just guess activate. we can put him here. Yeah, that's the building he's activating. He'll take okay. that one. He doesn't have either, so... Um, Okay, and then white is going nowhere because they're doing mining, so they're going to bring people back. Going nowhere fast. Nowhere fast, and we're not camping, so. What? It's locked up. Okay. All right. Okay. Put them in order. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to go here to the Nimbus Loft. Hmm. And I'm going to pay three resources, a gold and two stone. Mm-hmm. Um, to get a star. Well, that bumps and up. And out here. So I'm bumping this up so I get a star on this guy. I get a star on this guy. I get to put a star out here. So everybody who has a recruit in that faction mm -hmm. that gets mm -hmm. a star. That's big. Big money. It is actually really close. Okay. So. Your turn. You're good? Mm -hmm. Alright, just looking at my cards. Just <laughs> looking at my cards. <laughs> Just looking at my cards. Just looking at cards. That's okay. Where am I going? Ah, uh, this is a tough call. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go here. Okay. I'll pay gas and energy and get uh, three cards. Okay. Because you get an extra card yes. for being in that territory. So I'm gonna get three of these, so I'll take one. <sighs> slide, slide, slide. Two. How many cards do I have? I have a li limit of three, so I have to discard one. I'll discard that one. Slide, slide, slide. And you shouldn't be able to take any more cards. You're allowed to take in this one. I know, but I feel like you shouldn't. Uh, I'll take a copy of Viticulture. And I will discard. Ah, uh, that's kind of lame. That one. Alright. Okay. Mm. 
All right. Mining in Icarus. But actually, this isn't going to be mining. So this is why there's these different icons. Mm -hmm. So they're actually going to go to the Sky Lounge. The Sky Lounge. All right. That's done. And that's already upped. So, oops. I'm sorry. Not white. Black. Yeah. And Black's actually not going to do that because Black has no more pieces left. So they're going to so pull them all back. They're going to pull back. And right. we're not camping anywhere. So nope, they're pulling everything back. Even the, back, even this guy. Wow, they have all their dice. Too. Yeah, so White's actually going to build here. What? <laughs> That's unfortunate. Wow, so let's see. White White's is gonna, building where? Is building in Subterra again. Oh, so they're not actually going to build anything. So they're going to look for uh, penalized markets, which they don't have to worry about. All constructed markets. They're, they're going to put, put one on the territory. Here. Yep. So and they're going to put full. a die here. Okay. okay. The highest. Yeah, if, if even if this was full, which it is now, they still get to put one there. Right. So, wow, white is killing it. Yeah. I don't really get it. That's crazy. Um, all right, I guess I will pay a cloud to bring back my people. And that bumps me up. Two. Two hearts, right? One, two. Mm -hmm. Oh, you brought your yep. players back. So I get you can to pull, pull one, one back. back too. If you want. That is, yeah. <laughs> if you'd like. Oh, uh, yeah. Four. All right. That's great. What did I want to do? Okay. So I'm going to. I'm going to do this, actually. Go to the artifact market. Mm -hmm. uh, it takes three normally, but I'm going to trade in two copies of Viticulture. Okay. And get a star in the territory and bump up that allegiance by one. Okay. Ready? Mm hmm Okay, black is commodities in wastelands. Okay. And white is going to the Sky Lounge. They heard it was a cool place to go. Up there. Okay. My turn. Yeah. All right. Oh my goodness. I see the path before me, but there's so much to do. It's yeah, there time. is. So little time. Um, thinking about the best way to do this here. already up quite a bit. I'll go here. Do I want to do that? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I guess I'll go here. So I'll take two of these guys. And that's it. Yeah, but I was thinking maybe I'll do Put my five out there instead, so that I can bring that down. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna pull everybody back. Okay. Lose one happiness. Four, and five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, forty, fifteen, sixteen. Ooh, you get to lose a worker. I do. I lose. You get to lose a worker. <laughs> I don't get to. I just lose yeah. one. There you go. There you go. Oh, we're out. Uh huh. Wow! 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 Okay. They were too smart for their own good. I know. You made them too brilliant. I know. Well, I got a lot of rounds out of That's them. That's good. I, like, never get extra workers. I know. I don't know why. Are you well, afraid to lose I'm them? Well, I'm afraid someone will lose them. Yeah. <laughs> like, with my luck, I roll, like, all sixes all the time. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. What are they doing? I have a feeling white player is going to come and just sweep just us. Just take it? Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, no, because they're both pulling everybody back. Because they're all doing commodities. So... Black is first. Take the black. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, you don't want that one. And white is coming off the board. Oh, uh, wow. Locked up. Wow, look at all those fours. Yeah. That's crazy. All right. My turn. Yep. My turn. One up here. So I'll pay. 
a bliss and a water. And I'll get three cards. Okay. So one, two, three. <laughs> All right. So. I'm getting so nervous. <laughs> Why? I just am. Okay, so I will... Hmm, this is tough. I'll go here. Oh. <laughs> Take two energy and bump him up one. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, commodities mm -hmm. in Westlands and this do jabby in here. Who's that? So they get to add stars. They just keep adding them. They just keep adding them. And unlike us, this is like blocked out for us. They just get to keep adding mm -hmm. stars. So my turn. Mm-hmm. Yikes. Okay. Um, well, I guess I'm gonna do this. So we have this handy card, um, which lets us spend two antiques mm -hmm. or one antique of a certain type, which I haven't been able to get all game. Right. Um, to do some stuff. So in my case, I'm going to spend two cards. I don't think I have any of those. Yeah. Um, spend these two. Spend these two. To burn a book. Yes, yeah, so let's throw that up there. Which which option did you take? You have a good and a bad option. I chose the option is bad. It's called burn a book. Oh, okay. So I get well, to place a star good. on the card. Not very good at all. All right. Um, I'm going to take this tunneling action for mm -hmm. one energy, and I get a gold and a card. Mm -hmm. I'll take the bear, mm -hmm. and by taking the bear, I also gain an orange and any commodity of my choice. Mm. <gasps> I see what you're doing. Yep. You booger. What commodity of my choice would I like? Hmm. Hmm. Come on, just pick. I'll take Bliss. Okay. Um, also, he goes here, and this tunnel is now open. All so right, that action can be taken only if you have a recruit. From that From area. that faction. Yes, so you can go down the tunnels. Which? Um, all right. Mining. Oops, highest. Mining out here. Oh, wow. You like that? Yeah, I do. Um, and then commodities in down here. Okay, okay. that's max. Ay ay ay. Ay 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 ay. Um Oh, dag nab it. <laughs> Darn it. I am going to pull my people back, and I'm going to do it I'm going to lose a heart. Huh? You get to pull people back if you want. Yeah. So I'm going to activate this with mm -hmm. these two cards, and I'm going to choose to accept the assigned match <laughs> and place the star there. All right, good. That's Done. not my turn. What? That's a free action. Wait, I took mine as an action. As a whole action? You didn't yes. go? No. After that? Oh. Yeah, it's not technically an action. You I, can just do it at any point. I feel like all the other times we've played, we've done that. All right, well, I won't take an action then. Okay, that's fair. I mean, yeah. 
Because I did that as my action. No. I, thought that, I thought that was No, you can do it at any time. Okay. Well. All right. So we'll have this guy go. All right. Black is going mining. Oh, wow. Again. So he just opened up. The tunnel. The tunnel. And white is constructing. <laughs> Down here again. Oh, my God. I guess here because they can't go. Oh, That's well, I guess they'd go like they here go anywhere. or something. It doesn't yeah. really matter. Um, and they are going to just keep on doing that weird thing. Okay. It's a little weird. Your turn. Okay. <sighs> I'm going to go here and pay two of the same cards mm -hmm. instead of three to put a star down here. Did we say we could do that? Or no, you have here? to be on that okay. one to That's do fine. it. All right. So I'm just going to go here. Mm -hmm. Pay three gold bars. Yes. Oh, I your final star. star. No. <laughs> <Not here. laughs> so cheap. Yeah. That's the game. Okay, wow, that close. was so close. Yeah, Black Even, was like struggling. Yeah, he just did not get any stars out. Yeah. All right. I want to. Can we play for second winner? <laughs> Uh, yeah, they get to go. Let's see if they put their. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if the Ottawa would have won it this next round. Yeah, right. curious. That's pretty. I had funny. like two moves left to take. What's White gonna do? White would nah, have done won. commodities. Yep. Yeah, I would have. Yeah, I had to. Yeah, I would have. I needed. I needed like two more moves because I would have put this. I was gonna put this out here to Breeze Bar to get two more cards, yep. so that I had three cards. And then I could have, I would have had to pull back and then done Winston. So I was probably like two moves. Two away. more turns yeah. away. Yeah. yeah. Wow, that so was I didn't close. Get a thing. Yeah. Good that was game. Close. All right. Cool. Let's talk about it. All right. There you have it. I'm so close. Ignorance Again. is bliss. I always lose by one point, like by by one star, but it is extremely close. It like is. Every single time we play, it's very mm -hmm. close because we're pretty much neck and neck. I mean, I guess, I guess because it's it's pretty balanced. As far as like when the construction happens, you yeah. need to get out. Like I didn't get on that construction project yep. and I was down a star because of it. Yep. And it gave me a, gave you an advantage. It, I didn't have to waste a turn pulling, pulling back dice your workers. Back. I had that one worker huge. to just that keep on huge. going. Like yeah. it just let me go a little bit further. Yeah. But it needed some weird stuff. I know like I needed a book like to do my um, uh, ethical dilemma. Mm-hmm. I needed a book and I couldn't get the books to come out. Yeah, they and were. You needed them really for like there. all these other things too. Because um, you can actually go on these. On the buildings, yeah. On the buildings to get stars as well, which we didn't do. Right. Um, but you need a certain. A specific right, a lot of them needed. Yeah, they needed books and they needed like oranges. I didn't have oranges. Like yeah. I, I wasn't really going for those resources. Right. So it kind of it, it wasn't as beneficial. Yeah. By the time I got my balloons, there was already. This was a filled up. So yeah. The white that. player just like destroyed yeah. that territory. But anyway, yeah, it's very different every time. So um, so let's let's talk about this mm -hmm. replayability wise. Yeah. I think this is just. I feel like we get the same feeling every time we play mm -hmm. uh, but it's definitely a it's definitely a different engine you're kind of building every single time yeah and I, I think i think what what leads to that or what contributes to that is what kind of recruits you get at the beginning yes. and that's going to really guide your game and right. sort of guide your engine because yeah. those are what like my engine was get get bizarre cards because they were free for me yeah like exactly. these commodity these um yeah, so there was a free commodity, right? Yeah. So that was my engine to get those. Mm -hmm. I, it took me too long to get my other recruit out because none of the AI was pushing uh, Euphoria. Yeah. So I had to push it myself just to get my and card out. And I didn't up. have, like, mine, I, like, I guess I should have been, like, generating stone, but you generate stone so late yeah. that it's kind of a hard, it's not really, like, yours is kind of passive mm -hmm. where it was like, oh, you just get a discount. Yeah. Mine was like you can pay a stone to get a card when it's like well why wouldn't i just go up here and use the resources that i would have spent to get that stone to go get three cards yeah you know yeah I mean? true so i don't know for me it wasn't it wasn't as um as important this time but i agree that a lot of the recruits do give you those 
directional kind of yeah. bonuses. We didn't play with... Um, so the expansion comes with a factionless mm. recruit or a bunch of factionless recruits. That are very powerful. Made. They're very powerful. But what happens is you actually get rid of them as soon as you deploy another recruit for some reason. So you only get to keep them in the beginning. No, you get them... The thing is, you, you keep them the whole game unless you add another recruit that's yeah. also factionless. Then you'd have to get rid of that factionless one to keep them. But otherwise, they stick around. The only the real uh, disadvantage is you don't get the bonus from the faction track. Exactly, yeah. Right? Because they're, they're factionless. But they're they're, factionless. their bonus is more... is stronger. Yeah, so like when you use a tunnel, you may always gain both the resources and a card always yeah, yeah. always like yeah. this is they're they're much more powerful right uh, generally but they're they're also limiting in some ways yeah um yeah when you use a tunnel without bumping a worker you do not pay the tunnel cost so it's just free yeah free tunnel free uh, tunnels the whole game <laughs> the right and that's just one of your one of your yeah. workers so it, it's really they're, they're powerful so they're really cool you're yeah. just not allowed to have two of them either right that's right. the trick yeah so i think the the replayability is pretty high there's also you only see six of these uh, building tiles mm -hmm. come out, um, but there's like a huge stack of them. There's and, 16, I believe. And then the expansion comes with another stack. Well, yeah, yeah. 16 like, came so, with the expansion. Yeah. Um, but with this expansion, you can't you can't mix. Right. It's not recommended to mix the original base tiles with these because there's a certain balancing mm -hmm. mechanism that with the expansion it, right. they don't recommend it as well as the um recruit cards yeah and this deck of recruit cards is the expansion deck yeah <laughs> this is not even the base the base deck right. is i don't even know if the base deck is this big but it's close yeah so you you're talking a ton of recruits yeah a ton a ton so replayability good it's very high um so weight and audience who's this for it's heavy I think. this is pretty heavy it's pretty heavy it's heavier yeah. than i thought it was gonna be yeah yeah i think so too um and you know, I, I was I was thinking about it because it's kind of it's interesting how it plays mm. because it's a little I don't want to say it's choppy, but it kind of feels like from thinking like for a brand new gamer or like maybe somebody's used to like a midweight yeah. kind of strategy game. Um, you you can plan ahead, but you're not going to be planning that far ahead necessarily right. and playing it all out at the same time. So I actually think it might be good for somebody who's getting into heavier games mm -hmm. because you only you can only think about doing this one step yeah and then everybody else goes and then you do another little step and mm -hmm. then everybody else goes you know so it's not like you have to place a whole bunch of workers all at the same time or or really try to think out a long long-term strategy right. it's like a bunch of small things to just get these stars out and what can i do right now to make that happen right and your actions change on a dime like i could be yes. going one way and all of a sudden i have to switch gears and go oh i need to put something on that building now where exactly. i wasn't planning on doing that but yeah. now somebody else has kind of forced me to have to right. contribute to that so you're always having and i think that's where, where, where the choppiness comes in because you you're constantly having to change yeah which way you're going which in a normal euro you kind of have your strategy uh -huh. and you plan out all right my three workers this is what i'm going to do bing 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 yeah but in this game it's like i have my one shot here right what's the most powerful play I can do right this second yeah. because my next turn could be completely different mm -hmm. and everything would have changed. Well, and I like that too because um, these kind of games where there's like there's a lot of interaction but it's not it's not like take that mm -mm, kind of interaction. Not at all, yeah. um, but you're all relying on like the allegiance track. Like mm -hmm. you want to keep keep track of the allegiance track because you want to be careful not to push it up if you know it's going to give somebody else that star a little bit more quickly but right. uh, but also it's giving you some good bonuses if you have recruits so um so thinking about that you know is kind of is pretty interesting too um what did you think about theme and components oh, i think it's beautiful the components are really nice like uh, this is i like these giant the giant tokens, tokens are <laughs> awesome they're huge <laughs> Uh, we didn't need them. In the base game, it comes with like a, a multiplier track where you just put your tokens on like the yeah. times three and that equals three. we don't three use it though. Yeah, in a two-player game, you're not going to go through enough of these um, commodities mm -hmm. to to need that. Right. Resources, even in a four-player game, I don't think you'll go through them all because at most you only ever have like, I'd say four or five because you're spending them as soon as you get them. Right. Uh, but the commodities, you can accrue quite a bit mm -hmm. so it makes a lot of sense i could see in a four-player game running out of these small ones pretty quickly 
Um, but with two, you'll never run out of the small ones. We just we yeah. never had that many resources without spending them. So um, I like from a theme standpoint, I like all the flavor in the game is really cool. Yeah. So it makes it fun to like experience as you're playing. Mm -hmm. It's like all the buildings have you know really funny names, um, yeah. and uh, like even the artifacts are like old timey, mm -hmm. you know, kind of like modern day like toys and bats yeah. and teddy bears and stuff like that. So you can kind of picture being in this like dystopian society and finding these things mm -hmm. you know and having them be valuable to you yeah it's pretty way. funny um so it's kind of it's kind of interesting yeah i really do in enjoy the theme i think the art's really nice it's clean the yeah. board is it, it, even though it seems like there's a lot going on it's actually pretty straightforward right so yeah. and the components are top notch which you would expect yes so um so obviously we have fun this, with this one i think we yeah we yeah yeah a lot of fun with this uh, one. but i want to talk about expectations because mm -hmm. i this was a this was a game that um that we had we had Euphoria, the two-player game. Yeah. I wasn't sure what the expansion was going to add necessarily, but we've played it both, just the base game, yeah. and then with the expansion. And uh, the expansion actually kind of like exceeded my expectations when it came to how it changed the game. Right. Um, personally, I'm I don't really like dealing with Automa mm -hmm. um, because to me it like takes away from the like my own like just playing the game like well, i have to like babysit this thing over here mm -hmm. um but this was actually you saw it's like it's very easy to understand the iconography is easy it's quick it doesn't add a lot of time to your game to add two extra players yeah um which is not something that you get in um in a lot of autumn i don't think right yeah we we played this you know as you said euphoria the two-player game but we mm -hmm. I'm assuming you meant as a two-player game, not the two-player game. Oh, no. Game. I yes. mean, yeah, like, as like as all games we play are typically yeah. two-player. So, like, that one was, like, two to five players, I think? Or I think two, so. Yeah, somewhere in that range. But it wasn't a single-player game because it didn't have an automa. Right. But and what this expansion also added were these, like, numbers on the mining yes. tracks that tell you where to start the miner at lower player counts mm -hmm. because it makes those tracks shorter, it which makes... It took us a really, really long time to get yes. to the end with of Which is two players table. pushing these mining tracks. It takes ages, which right. I think this was a huge... Uh, step in the right direction and getting the game, you know, a little bit more balanced for just two people. Mm -hmm. But with that said, you've got the Automa now, yeah. which would have solved for that had they not had to add these numbers. Right. Like it didn't matter now because the Automa pushes the tracks for you, which is which is beneficial. At least some of the tracks. Some of the tracks, like right. mine, didn't get pushed. But if right. uh, if they were pushing my track, it would have gotten there a lot sooner, and but I would have been sense, able to take advantage of that. Because if you have another person who has a different recruit faction, they're going to want to try to push their tracks they you, know you I mean? push your track yeah because yeah. that's where you get your bonuses right you want to activate your your faction so um but i think like those little touches really took some of the i guess clunkiness out of the two-player experience mm -hmm. because you you get to experience this game with two players as if you were playing with a board of four and, right. and, and getting the crowding um and and you need these other players to push these tracks for you like you said and to kind of push you to start building buildings right yeah that was another thing i think that like when we when we played originally um with like the, the base game mm -hmm. um we were kind of contributing to the same buildings now granted you only need two um commodities to build or two, two resources spaces, yeah. to be filled to build a building so it was kind of like i'm going to contribute this and you're going to contribute that and with in this case we might have had to contribute two instead of one mm -hmm. uh, but it was nice to have them kind of pushing us in that direction didn't yeah it? i, I really like that that was yeah. that was really cool um, but i will say even with the base game we we still only score like maybe like we're very close like yeah it we still were is really close yeah. it's just a different experience it's a completely different i yeah. prefer i mean i like automas that's just i know it's just me <laughs> um so for me it, it's it's pretty it, it's a comfortable place for me to play with mm -hmm. automa um, so I don't mind it. This one's really smart. It is. It's very, really very sharp. Smart. Um, and it's not as clunky. It's clunk. It's, it may have seemed clunky when we did it because we don't do them as often anymore. Right. And we didn't play a lot with this. In fact, this was our first play with this Automa. Um, because we played this as a two player. Right. You know what I mean? Because we yeah. knew how to play it as a two player, but I'm like, you know what, for the video, let's get the Automa because that's a big part of this expansion. It I is. think yeah. for, especially for solo players, cause it is, it'll make it a three player experience, which is, mm -hmm phenomenal kind of huge, for yeah. a single player to play solo you know a lot of these games you're usually just playing against one automa to actually have a system that gives you two opponents mm -hmm. in one kit yeah is huge i would I, that's phenomenal so yeah. i think it's a it's well and to have piece. it be so so balanced too i mean i know like the 
black player was kind of like behind yeah. a little bit. And I don't know if that's our fault because I know we had a little bit of clunkiness know. in the beginning and that might have, because I wasn't pushing these tracks up been, like I should have been. ending up with like the sixes. Yeah, though, too, and he wasn't up, really so. doing a lot of smart moves. He wasn't doing well, a lot of building. and I'll tell you the other thing was that I was also pushing yeah, this. Yeah, and that could have been. nobody, we weren't pushing Nobody that, was pushing so, the wasteland tunnel. Yeah, you know, so that was another thing. That could have been a contributor too, yeah. So yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, but it was very smart, I yeah. think, um, and definitely exceeded my expectations. Yeah, mine too. I think this really, this expansion is in my opinion especially if you're a solo player absolute must have like this yeah. turns a game that you you may not have been able to play you know you haven't been able to play solo and now you can and that just opens up the whole library of, of available solo games and that that for me is like this is a no-brainer yeah. you just get this expansion cool so, all, right. all right anything else you want to say no that's it so to say thank you to stonemaier games for providing us with the demo copy uh really like this one um and that's pretty much it. So I yeah, uh, hope it. you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. We'll see you.